Hello friend and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. We're back with round two, race two of the Race Asylum KTM Crossbow League. We're here at Mayabi, where we've got the reverse grid. Reese racing on pole, Mozzie beside him, about to set off for 10 laps. These cars running super soft tyres with very, very high uh, tyre degradation. So they don't want to be spinning the cars. No traction control on these machines. Mozzie making a great launch. Gorilla Gaz getting away brilliantly up into second there. W Gunnell and They Hate Melty squabbling for third. Not quite sure happens to Gunnell. He disappeared. Oh, They Hate Melty struggled there. And Reese Racing, who was in pole, spins out at the first corner. Don't know if he was assisted with that, but he went anyway. Gorilla Gaz sideways trying to keep up with Mozzie. I think Mozzie's gone too wide. It's that heavy braking zone, but he's still managing to lead. King is already up into third, uh, Reese Racing going backwards. King is your winner from race one. And here comes Gorilla Gaz. He's got a good drive up that, uh, that inside for the, the long right-hander. Gorilla Gaz takes the lead. Once he gets to second, but keeping up. There's King is just lurking in the background. Waiting for uh, one of these two to make a mistake, or perhaps these two to hit each other. Although King is just seems to be fast enough to hunt them down. He's done really, really well in these cars, has King is. A real specialist. And here we go for the inside. No, not a big enough gap there, but Gorilla Gaz out wide. No real grip. We'll get to third. King is into second. Is he going to use a toe to get past Mozzie? Wait and see, he's tucked in. Going to perhaps go for the inside in this corner? No. Thinks better of it, it's too far back. Gorilla Gaz there, just dropping back a little bit. Oh, Mozzie just lost the back end there. Had to correct it. Avoided a massive accident. Uh, but lost first and dropped to third. But King is, is your race leader. Once again. The driver who's really got the hang of these cars, but I spoke too soon. Curse the commentator. As King Ears throws it into the barrier, Gorilla Gaz almost finds the barrier. And Famish Uncouth from out of nowhere goes into the lead. Uh, they hit Malty second. Shinna third. Well, I'm going to wait for this to all update because there's a lot of drivers going past a lot of other drivers. Uh, we got Forrest Shinna in third, didn't we? Mozzie holds a fourth. GW Gurnell in fifth. Famish goes a little wide there. Looks like Malty's going to try and go up the inside. Melty's got it. Look out for Shinna lurking in the background. He got up to second. Famish really losing out with that wide line there. Oh, up at the front, they hate Melty. Touches the grass. But he lives to fight another day. King is tyres ruined. He goes into the pits. Uh, it's almost halfway stage in the race, so that's not going to be too bad for him. Shinna takes the lead, but we've got a yellow flag up ahead. Who's that for? Is that for Reese Racing? I think it is. Famished, really well lined up there to get a good toe up this main straight. Perhaps a little bit too far back to do anything into the first corner. So GW Gurnell hanging on to this group at the front as well. Mozzie, Tokyo drifting it through there, trying to get up alongside Famished Uncouth. Famished Uncouth again taking that very wide line out. And that puts Mozzie alongside. And Mozzie goes up into second, what a great move. Oh, but he nearly lost it. Having to correct, oh, and into the barrier, Mozzie was doing so well. And that promotes GW Gunnell to third place. There is GW Gunnell, just behind Famish Dunkuth. Famish Dunkuth right behind the leader, Shinner. At the halfway stage, this is very close at the front. Up ahead, we've got Gorilla Gaz just coming out of the pits there. Clearly he wanted some, some fresh rubber. King is all the way down is six, but King is has got new tyres, so he's going to be really pumping in some laps, some lap times rather. We've got Mozzie in the pits. Mozzie clearly thinking they couldn't go on. I don't know if you spot that there, but King is was purple by over two seconds, so King is absolutely flying at this stage. Uh, we're doing everything he can to try and catch up with this group. Uh, Maki RS has come up to fourth. He's having a quiet race, but keeping it consistent. If we haven't just jinxed him. 
Schinner comes around to complete lap six, start lap seven. GW Gurnell a little way behind. He's battling with Machiaris. I guess with the final chicane. King is there lurking in the background. There he is. He's really on a charge, trying to get back to that podium. He's up behind Machiaris now. He's going to go around the outside. He's certainly got the, the fresh rubber for it. Can't quite make it happen. Machiaris sits on the apex, but then goes out a little wide. That allows King is to cut underneath him, take fourth. Now he can uh, he can chase down GW Gurnell right in front of him. Very aggressive line uh, with that crossbow. King is absolutely throwing it around. Sends it into third. No messing. I guess GW Gurnell felt that his battle was with Mackey and not with King Ears. But the front shin is still leading on lap eight. Famished Uncouth right behind him. King is some way back. Uh, I don't know if it's likely that King is will be able to catch up. Possibly too late in the race at this point. But still, the orange machine of Shinner. The uh, the tyres are going off at the back, is what I was about to say. And there's a little more evidence that they're going off. Shinner around. Can he get back on and maintain that second place? There's King Ears in the background, approaching at high speed. Shinner still getting up to speed. Oh, a little bit sideways there for King Ears. That's not going to do the tyres any good. Shinner's gone again. Those tyres have had it. They are gone. They're destroyed. King Ears back up to second place. What a charge he's on. Famished Uncouth up ahead, but by quite some way. There is Famished Uncouth just approaching that, uh, that heavy braking zone at the bottom of the track that leads towards the chicane. It doesn't look as though King is going to be able to get back to Famished Uncouth, although those rear tyres are oh gone. There's Shinner sideways there. Shinner's having issues. Oh, in the background, Melty melting into the barrier. Oh, and bouncing off it, apparently. Uh, well done, Melty. Oh, Famished Uncouth, you can see the body language of that car. Absolutely nursing it. King is is having some rear tyre issues there. That could have halted the charge. Oh, Mozzie, that's too fast. GW Gurnell coming up the main straight. Can GW Gurnell get past Mozzie for third place? Gonna be close into that first corner. Oh, Mozzie just gets there first. And sideways. We've seen a lot of that from Mozzie. Uh, really drifts these cars and drifts it right into the barrier. So GW Gurnell takes third place. But it's Famished Uncouth on the final lap who's done absolutely everything right so far. They've, they've kept their head down, stayed out of trouble. And here we go, round to Chicane for the final time in the background. Melty having more woes down there in last place. Amish Duncouth crosses the line to finish the race two as your winner. The Melty finishes eighth. UW Gurnell manages to get past King Ears. And here we come back in second. King Ears third. Where's Mozzie? Mozzie's just coming through the last chicane. There's nobody near him, really. So Mozzie's going to take fourth. Here we go, taking the checkered flag. Fifth place, Gorilla Gaz. On the driver, all on their own. Mackie in sixth. Here comes Mackie. And then we're going to have Shinner coming home in seventh. Well, what a race. Hope you join us for race three of this round which proved to be just as breathtaking. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to Discord. Thank you to the racers. And thank you to you. See you again soon. Bye-bye for now.